Good evening. Yesterday, something pretty insane happened that's both very exciting and also immensely depressing. Team Fortress 2's entire developer repo leaked. Now, what does this mean? Basically, if you were making a game on Valve's Source Engine, you might make a deal with Valve to get access to their developer repo. This gives you a drive of files from many of their game's development history for you to reference and use when creating your own game. These have been scrubbed of super sensitive files in the past due to small leaks, so they don't contain absolutely everything. But they do contain the majority of files made during these games' developments. And this week, TF2 is leaked. Actually, not only TF2, but nearly every Source Engine Valve game had their repo dumped. Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Source, Day of Defeat Source, even Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. What does this mean for Valve? Well, they're probably going to tighten security, they might not let people license their games ever again, and if they weren't a privately owned company, their stocks would probably be plummeting right now. Because this might be the biggest leak they've suffered since Half-Life 2's source code got posted online in 2003. I'm hoping they don't go code red and start targeting people sharing the files or, god forbid, YouTubers reporting on them. Thankfully for them though, this repo leak didn't include the files for CSGO, Portal 2, or Left 4 Dead 2, which would have made things even more catastrophic as those files probably include stuff from Half-Life 3. Now, what does this leak mean for the future of TF2? Well, it means that the community now has access to nearly every single piece of official TF2 content ever made. Basically, no stones left unturned. So, unless you're so huffed up on Copium you still think that another major TF2 update or even TF3 is coming, it would appear that this is probably the last significant drop of Valve-made TF content you or I might ever see. Which is very saddening. We've truly reached the bottom of the barrel and now have nearly every piece of official TF2 content ever prototyped. And there's not any more on the way. Once the nerds of the Valve community who spend hours obsessing over wall textures finish digesting and restoring the contents of this leak, it's over. Now, it's not all bad, because of course these files include a ton of really cool shit, and it'd be foolish not to expect them to spur in a new wave of interesting TF2 fan content. So that should be fun to see. It's also going to take a long time for people to wrap their heads around everything in this leak, since it's about 60 gigabytes and includes basically every file made for the game between 2007 and 2015. But here's some of the most interesting things people have found so far. We have files from the cut VIP mode, including multiple versions of Hunted, a map based on surface tension from Half-Life 1. We have files for an official rocket jump map and unreleased tutorial levels for the soldier. We have the early versions of Powerhouse and Mercenary Park from before 2011. We have model versions of basically every backpack item rendered like the refined metal and stuff. We have files relating to the cancelled raid game mode that I think evolved into MVM, and a ton of bizarre assets for it, like the knight and this big ass sentry thing. We also have tons of unreleased MVM maps, some retooled from the main game like Pipeline and some that are totally original. There's this strange Zeppelin level that reminds me of the classic community map Balloon Race, the fucking coconut source image, a lot of unused animations and stuff from Taunts. There's this weird unused arena map called Train Yard, and a map called Mountain that's seemingly for attack defend. There are also multiple unreleased alternate variants of already existing maps, like King of the Hill Badwater and King of the Hill Lumberyard, as well as a nearly finished payload race version of Thunder Mountain called Pinecrest. There are so many prototype maps that I honestly can't even be bothered to list them all. There's a team colored variant of the pistol and the scatter gun. There's a TF2 styled reskin of the portal turret that once served as a placeholder for the level 1 century. There's a good amount of character models that were only used in promotional material, like Saxton Hale and the Spellbook Witch that was based on an old version of Miss Pauling. There's a TF2 chess map, which I guess was made to promote this obscure TF2 chess set. There's Dust Bowl 2, which is one of the oldest TF2 maps ever that eventually evolved into Gold Rush. There's source files for maps and renders made for the game's promotional material, including stuff from the Meet the Team shorts, and a lot more I'm sure I'm forgetting that you can probably scroll down to the comments to read about. Now, here's a disclaimer, I'm not a game dev, I'm not a journalist, and I'm not affiliated with Valve. I'm just a Zoomer kid in my bedroom. So I'm sorry if I missed anything big or got anything wrong in this video. I don't know anything about the future of Valve or how they'll react to this. I had nothing to do with the leak itself or its distribution. And if anybody at the company has a problem with me showing the images seen in the video, I ask them to please just send me a polite email instead of a direct takedown. Because I'm really just a big ol' fan. No more, no less. Anyway, like I said earlier, unless a miraculous TF2 surprise is on the way, then outside of fan-made hats or event maps getting added every 8 months and maybe the script for the final comic eventually leaking, TF2 is kinda over. For real. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, have a good day.